สวัสดีค่ะถ้าใครมาแล้วฝากกดไลค์กดแชร์ให้ด้วยนะคะอสวัสดีค่ะใครเอ่ย Ah, see there you go. Now somebody's here. Maybe it's me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Somebody's here. แป๊บนึงนะคะขอแชร์ไปดังผิดต่างๆก่อนสวัสดีใครมาแล้วทักทายหน่อยค่ะขอบคุณมากเลยที่มาดูกันเดี๋ยวแพทขอแชร์ไปยังเพจของเรากันนะคะวาย Why? เดี๋ยวเราจะเริ่มเนื้อหากันตอนประมาณสามทุ่มห้านาทีนะคะสวัสดีค่ะแม่น้องพอลักวันนี้มาเร็ววันนี้มาวันนี้เป็นไงกันบ้างขอบคุณมากเลยค่ะเดี๋ยวห้านาทีแรกก็เมาท์มอยกันไปก่อนนะคะเพราะว่าเดี๋ยวรอให้คนเข้ามากันก่อนจะได้แบบว่าไม่พลาดมาช้าก็ไปดูย้อนหลังได้เนาะไลฟ์ย้อนหลังเลยนะคะเพราะมันนานอะ่ะเป็นคนแบบไม่ค่อยจะมีสติสมาธิจะดูอะไรได้นานขนาดนั้นนะชั่วโมงหนึ่งดูไม่ได้แต่ได้ยินสามีดูตัวเองซ้ำแล้วซ้ำอีกนะคะ Hang on everyone we gotta we gotta do our thumbnail okay ready จิงเหมือนนักถ่ายรูปอยากรู้ไหมว่าคราวนี้เนี่ยเราแก้ไขปัญหาตัวอักษรกับด้านอย่างไง Smile for a second so the thumbnail okay, there you go okay good มีใครอยากรู้บ้างว่าเราแก้ปัญหาตัวอักษรกลับด้านอย่างไรเป็นวิธีที่ไฮเทคสุดๆนะคะฮัลโหลคริสตินเราเรียนโฮมสกูลไอเดียพอลักจะมาเรียนไหมเดี๋ยวถ้าสิ้นเดือนนี้รัฐบาลให้เปิดได้จะเปิดคลาสกลุ่มเล็กนะคะหกคนหกคนโอเค how we doing we ready to go ขอก่อนสิสามทุ่มห้านาทียังสองนาทีโอเค I'm ready ใครมาแล้วเตรียมคำถามไว้เลยนะคะเดี๋ยวพอพูดเนื้อหาที่อยากจะพูดเสร็จเนี่ยก็จะได้ตอบคำถามไปเลยค่ะวันนี้เราจะมาคุยกันเกี่ยวกับไหนๆลูกก็ต้องอยู่บ้านแล้วนะคะแล้วเราก็กลายเป็นครูจําเป็นไปแล้วในระดับหนึ่งถึงแม้ว่าจะไม่ได้สอนอะไรก็เถอะเราจะใช้เวลาว่างๆเดือนสองเดือนนี้ที่เราจะต้องอยู่กับลูกเนี่ยยังไงได้บ้างนะคะที่จะทําให้เขาได้เรียนรู้อย่างเต็มที่จะจัดบ้านยังไงมีอุปกรณ์อะไรที่เราแนะนํานะคะว่ามันมันน่าจะมีถ้าเรามี Mm, I don't think so. Okay, are we ready to go? Okay. Okay, let's get started. Let me ready, กว่าอย่าอย่าชักช้านะคะเดี๋ยวจะดึก Okay. Okay, so we are going to talk about organizing your space for homeschooling during these uh, times of isolation. So uh, if you have any comments, please put them in the chat below, and we will try to get to them during our seminar. But if Uh, not, we will answer you afterwards. Also, please don't forget to like and share this so that other people can find us. So here's our this now. Last time, you, if you remember last time, everything was backwards. Um, so we were looking into like how to flip the the screen on the on the tablet, but apparently it's really complex. So instead, what we did is we actually just printed this backwards. So when I read it, it's backwards here. But when you see it on your screen, it should be the right way. Can anybody tell me? Does it? Does it? Can you read this? Is this correct? Can you read it? 
Somebody in the chat, let me know if this is uh, in the right direction this time. So we're getting fancier every time. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีสวัสดีเรากลับด้านไงเรากลับด้านในกระดาษแทนเพราะตอนแรกเนี่ยเราไปดูที่แบบว่าพวกแอปอะไรที่คนเค้าใช้
everything in the room has to be labeled, okay? Mm. All the containers, what's ever in that container, put a label on that. Uh, if you have a desk, put the word desk on that. Mm. Uh, if you have a light on the ceiling, put the word light next to the ceiling, okay? Just label everything. Mm. It's Dylan's mom. Hi, Dylan's mom. <laughs> oh, there's somebody from Africa too. Hello. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you for everybody for joining us. Um, if you're new, just remember to share and like the screen. So, as far as posters go, um, don't just stick to the academic posters, the ABC stuff, you know, the typical things you see where they have the alphabet and all that. Yeah, okay, have that in the room too. You do need that. They do need to have those reminders. Some kids will need to have a cue to remember the order of the alphabet or whatever. You, need to see. you do need those things. You can get those Thai posters that have, um, you know, Gawkai, Gawkai and all that. So that's great. But, you know, just have art in the room mm. too. You know, put up a nice painting, uh, get some really cool posters, you know, just uh, a, a picture of a mountain or, you know, uh, some really interesting forest scene, stuff like that, you know, really decorate the room, make it beautiful and homey, uh, especially if there's something that uh, is of your child's interest, like if you have a child who really likes cars, well, you could put a whole bunch of pictures of racing cars in there, so when mm. she comes in there, she's like, oh, I like that car, I like that car, that's a Ferrari and everything like that, and whatever her interest is, you can do that. อืมใช่แล้วก็ผนังถ้าจะแปะโปสเตอร์ก็ไก่ABCอะไรอย่างเงี้ยก็ได้นะคะแต่ว่าอาจจะแปะแบบรูปภาพหรือสิ่งที่
they'll make chicken shaped things they'll make uh, egg shaped things whatever mm. and, you know they'll be all lumpy it'll be like oh is that a potato or a chicken I don't know well it's up to them yeah so uh, but yeah you can just you know do that so as you are at home you can have different projects and the project for, for that day can be let's uh, populate this area with some stuff okay mm -hmm. all right now uh, let's get on to the next one where did my thing go? Here. My Lucy. Okay. Uh, let's talk about our workspace now. Mm. Okay. Now, on this one here, okay, again, I'm, I'm picking on this room here. Uh, but notice that there's no, no materials here next to this workspace. This is a good child sized desk. We want that. อ่าควรจะมีแบบว่ามีอุปกรณ์ที่สามารถให้รูปแบบหยิบออกมาใช้ใช้ทํามันต้องมีอุปกรณ์อะไรล่ะหืม kind of thing that's supposed to be next to the Yeah, well, well see like okay so on, a lot of these pictures we I, people sent in I don't see a workspace at all. Okay? So I'm looking through these and I don't I don't see a space for work in these. Okay? We've got a lot of play area and stuff like that. And this is I love this one actually, but there's no place for working. Okay? Um, so where where does your child work? Do they work in this room or do they work at the kitchen <laughs> table? Oh, we can't see that. It's down here, okay? <laughs> okay, so um, you want to have the workspace separate from the play space. So if you've got a big room like this, like if I was going to look at this uh, this room right here, okay, it's got lots and lots and lots of room here, and you've got all this play stuff over here. So maybe over here on this side of the room or something, you could put down a, a, a desk and a small chair. I do like the size of this this table and chair here. This is the ideal size. Someone else on their picture here also has a pretty good table. And chair right here mm -hmm. but is this this looks like it can't really be drawn on okay mm -hmm. so you you're gonna have to accept that whatever you give them as their desk is gonna end up with lots of ink and pencil marks on it so mm -hmm. don't get them something really fancy mm -hmm. now so if this is gonna be our work table here then what we want to have is somewhere nearby we want to have uh, materials that they're going to be using. Now one thing you can do is you can get a shelf or some sort of trolley that has wheels on it mm -hmm. and so you can bring that out to the work area so when they're working you just bring out the materials. You don't want them getting up to go get a color or getting up to go get an eraser or, a si or scissors or something mm -hmm. like that. You want that right next to it. But she said her her stuff is here. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. All right. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Yeah. So so maybe in this one we could just roll a cart up right next to this here, and then you can uh, have you know all your materials right here next to it. So when you're doing your art and your writing and everything like that, you can have that right next to it. Mm. Every time they get up, that's a interruption. Mm. And so, especially with the kids who have uh, attention issues, mm. you want to minimize those distractions by having everything right there. อืมเพราะฉะนั้นถ้าโดยเฉพาะถ้าลูกเราวอกแวกอยู่แล้วนะคะก็คือควรจะให้ทุกอย่างอยู่ใกล้กันเลยเพื่อที่เราจะได้เ
and then make sure that whatever materials you need for the day are on that cart or on that shelf mm -hmm. right there so you aren't searching for the scissors that you need or the tape that you need for a project that you're doing mm -hmm. in the middle of the project you don't want to do that okay so getting back to this now um, our play space now okay let's talk about our play space now uh, the play space that I really like is in this picture here this is awesome okay congratulations okay this is beautiful I love this okay look at that okay this is a little fort that's made out of uh, sheets and stuff like this I, I want to go in that fort and play in there this looks awesome and it's got like a little wall here made out of dolls hmm. now this is an example of your child using whatever toys they have in their own unique way so mm. they're not playing with this doll as a doll it's just another brick in their wall here ตัวอย่างของเด็กที่แบบว่าเค้ามีประมาณเนี้ยแต่ว่าเค้าจะเล่นเองแบบหนึ่งเค้าก็ใช้สิ่งนี้เค้ามีอยู่มาใช้นะ
the, well, actually I think I get into that a little bit later, but uh, I'll go over now to um, your lesson plans, you want to mm. prep beforehand, so like uh, sometimes when I'm doing a project and there are, is a difficult cut or something in, in it, I'll cut that up beforehand so that like a Christmas tree cut or something like that, I'll give it, give that the Christmas tree to the kids beforehand because maybe it's too much. So I'll, you know, if they're only only able to cut in a circle or maybe cut rectangles out, but I've got some sort of complicated wavy pattern that I want to cut, I'll do that first um, the night before, and then when I give it to them, it's just uh, that part's ready, and then they can make the few final cuts they need to. อ่าโปรเจกต์ที่จะต้องตัดอะไรซับซ้อนมากแล้วเรารู้ว่าลูกยังตัดได้ไม่ขนาดนี้นะคะเราจะตัดไว้ก่อนเพื่อที่เวล
I got this for my daughter because, you know, I was like, okay, I want my kid to be a coder, so I'm going to get my first coding book, and it's all academic and, like, how to do programs Hi. and stuff like that. These are terrible. Don't get this. Okay. Um, you know, or like this is a reference book. Okay. Don't get this. I mean, get this, yes, but don't don't expect your kid to read this. This is this is not a reading book. Yeah, this is not a reading book. You want to have a book like this, mm. at least one. You want to have one like this. You want to have a book about colors, numbers. You want to have all those books, but you don't need more than a couple. Okay, what you want to have actually is maybe something... Uh, well, okay, now this is what we call a reader, okay? So a reader will just have like a line or two of text like this in a picture, and it's mostly about teaching some vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a, that's a reader, okay? But what you really want to have is, well, I mean, probably like this. This is a storybook, right? Yeah. Well, your Thai, books tend to, Thai books tend to be like about morality and stuff like that, you know, and <laughs> teaching a lesson. Okay? Here we go. Just something like this, okay, Billy Goat's Graph, right? Okay, where it's got beautiful pictures. Okay, you can spend you can spend an hour just looking at these pictures and finding new things in here. Okay. Some books will have a lot of text, some books have no text, some books will have, you know, uh, a little bit. Okay. So this is a book that's meant, meant to be read to your kid, okay? Not for them to read themselves, but for you to read to them, okay? And that counts as reading, okay? So uh, you, you want to have um, some books that they can read by themselves, some books that you can read to them, um, some books that are for reference books, uh, dictionaries, things like that and color number things like that you want to have those books in there and you want to have um, books that are just for fun you know? okay. so but don't make the mistake of just getting the academic books I, I remember um, I asked a sixth grade boy one time mm -hmm. what's your favorite book and he's like well I guess I read my science book a lot and I, I almost cried you know I was just like come on that's that's mm. the book you have in your house to read is your science textbook. I mean, I like science textbooks too. I, mean, I like learning about science and everything like that. But the thing that's going to inspire you about science is like, you know, a good H. G. Wells story, or you know, the, the, like the Time Machine, or something like that, or mm. the War of the Worlds, or something like that. You know, like an exciting sci-fi book. You know, mm. um, the. Ricky Ricardas and the uh, the Mouse from Mars or whatever you know those those books they're just like crazy goofy fun science books like science fiction books but they're they're stories you know that feature science okay. Yeah. So. So try to find books that you know are going to engage your child at their level. Mm -hmm. um, if you can read books that are above their level <coughs> to them, if it's at the right maturity level for them, but they can't read the words, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, but getting we're getting sidetracked. I, I, I'll talk about books all night if you want me to. Uh, maybe we could do a thing on books. Mm -hmm. I mean, did anybody in the comments, do you want me to talk more about books? Is that something? Or are you all getting bored with me talking about books? Let me know. I'm probably bored. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot actually to go into uh, a books and everything like that. So we want to make sure that uh, you're getting the right kind of books and presenting the right kind of materials mm -hmm. to your kid. Okay, um, and that's also something I, I I didn't mention about your space too, is presentation of the space. I think did I not mention that? Um, oh no, that's 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 in uh, the last one that you didn't print out. <laughs> I forgot something. Let's go back to materials now. Okay, we're going to talk about this. Okay, so uh, we talked already a little bit about the location of the materials. Make sure that the things that they're going to use most often mm. are going to be nearby where they're working. So you don't have the glue that they need on a shelf over there. And you especially don't put it up where they can't reach it. If it's something you want them to use, then it's going to be down on the shelf near them. 
ใช่อะไรที่เราอยากให้ลูกใช้นะคะต้องอยู่ใกล้มันมันจะไม่ได้ใช้มันต้องมี yeah so what what I like to do when I'm first in a space like if I'm first in my uh, first time in my classroom mm-hmm. or uh, in a new space or something like that like when we got this house and everything like that you just sit in the space for a little bit mm-hmm. and you try to picture the day and how it's going to go mm-hmm. where's your child going to enter what are they going to see first where are they going to play and just think about the flow okay that's that's a um, oh wait, something later but you want to you want to think about that. And then you want to put things where they belong, mm. okay? So if they're going to be doing their art over here in this corner, then don't put the water that they're going to clean up with over on the other side of the room. เอออย่างนั้นสมมติเราทำศิลปะมีสีน้ำสีอะไรพวกนี้ค่ะเราก็ควรจะมีถังล้างมือล้างเช็ดอะไรพวกนี้ใกล้ๆด้วยเพราะฉะนั้นอาจจะลองเซตแอเรียตัวเองดูแล้วลองให้ลูกทํากิจกรรมดูแล้วเราก็นั่งดูอะว่ามันแบบโอ้ยวุ่นวายอะไรจังเลยถ้ามันวุ่นวายแสดงว่าเราต้องจับพื้นที่ใหม่แหละ So if you're gonna have a, a a play area with with like sand or water or flour or something like that it's gonna be really messy you're gonna get all dirty and everything like that then don't put your cleaning supplies far far away in another room so that you have to say okay you've got you know gunk and paint all over your hands Freeze like this while I go run into the bathroom and get a towel for you and come back. Okay. Hmm. Because then, like, if we do something like this, we will say, "Hey, child, go out there. Mom will come. Come back. It won't be easy. It will be a little messy." So, locating materials in the right place is going to be key to your sanity. Basically, you're going to, um, you know, not feel so rushed if you can just get what you need right there. Yes. Because if we go out there, then we will come back. Then we will come back. กำลังรู้สึกดีๆกับการทำกิจกรรมด้วยกันมันจะกลายเป็นทะเลาะกันไปปีกโอเค so as far as the basic kind of materials you need to stock a classroom you're gonna need your colored pencils crayons you're gonna need pencils markers paints Pain. glue erasers but erasers should be for teachers at first don't mm. give your kid an eraser okay put that up on the teacher shelf ใช่เราไม่ให้ยางลบเพราะว่าเราไม่ชอบที่เด็กแบบว่าอยากจะ perfect คือเขียนแล้วก็ลบเขียนแล้วก็ลบปรากฏว่ามันไม่มีอะไรอยู่ในกระดาษเลยค่ะซึ่งเราเจอเด็กไทยเป็นอย่างนี้เยอะเพราะฉะนั้นยังลบเนี่ยจะไม่ให้ okay. like if they're drawing something they get draw outside the line well now that can become a wing right เขาดัดแปลงอะไรก็ได้หรือว่าถ้ามันผิดพลาดนิดหน่อยก็ไม่เป็นไรอะไรอย่างเงี้ยค่ะแล้วก็แปลกมากๆที่แบบหลายๆบ้านอ่ะไม่ค่อยมีอุปกรณ์อะไรพวกนี้เลยซึ่งจริงๆแล้วมันจําเป็นต้องมีมากนะอย่างสีน้ําอ่ะเป็นอะไรที่เด็กชอบเล่นมากเลยสีแบบเขาเรียกว่าอะไรเทมเพลาเพนเนาะ Yeah. I I notice that a lot of house doesn't have it, and it's really weird to me because kids love it. Yeah, well, it's you really hard to find. You should have this kind of thing like yeah. at one years old. You yeah, tempera paint is amazing. Mm. You can find it. Um, usually, like you, you can, can find it online, you can find right? it online. Tempera, T E M P U R A, tempera. Uh, it's ordered online, or I think some some of the better art supply stores will have it. it might be expensive. Mm. I, I think probably. Uh, like B2E or so B2S will probably have it, but it might be more expensive um, than what you can order online. But yeah, just get a couple of bottles of tempera paint. I got I, I get these big bottles like this. They last years and they're amazing. Last forever. มันมันคุ้มมากที่จะมีเพราะเด็กจะชอบเล่นสีพวกนี้ก่อนเป็นอันดับแรกเพราะฉะนั้นถ้าเราอยากจะให้ลูกเริ่มทำกิจกรรมอะไรก็ควรจะเละเทะต้องมีน้ำมีมีสีเละๆนะคะ Yeah every time I go to America I just come back with a suitcase full of paint. ก็เล่นได้แล้วเดือนก็เล่นได้แล้วค่ะมันควรจะเริ่มอะไรอย่างเงี้ยมาแล้ว Okay so that goes into our art supplies part here so um, you want to have you want to have the the academic materials that they're going to either note paper their their workbooks and all that You want to have that near their work area. You might then have a separate art space mm. for things like clay and play-doh and other art materials. Maybe they're doing craft projects and they're going to be gluing and making a big mess. So you don't want that in their workspace because if their work table gets all full of glue or paint, then it might become u- unusable for the rest of the day. Mm. Um, so you have a separate table for art and and just get let that one just get super messy. Mm. Uh, but then have everything you need to clean that up over by that table. But then, so then again, you'd want to locate all the materials for that nearby. Now, anything that you don't want your child to touch has to be up. Mm. Okay, but there are lots of things that they can touch. Like you could. 
put out uh, watercolors, right? Mm. Now, you might say, oh, but they're going to take the water and spill it. Well, don't give them the gigantic glass of water. Give them a little tiny cup. You could give them even a bottle cap. Full of water, just a little bit like that. Okay. Yeah, just something, you know, some small little container like that. So, like, I, I get the big bottles of latex glue. That goes up on the teacher shelf. But then I also have small containers of glue that the kids can pour out themselves. And... Like they can just pour that onto a piece of paper and use their fingers for gluing like that. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, you know, you want to have um, j just you want to have things where they belong, mm -hmm. where they need to be. So if your child needs it, then it should be down where they can reach it, near where they need it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as art supplies, though, you can eat popsicle sticks or any sort of things like that. You can go out in the yard and collect leaves and and sticks and stuff for for crafts. Um, Magazines are good. They can cut the pictures out of the magazines. Mm -hmm. Newspaper, just go to the newspaper shop and take all their old newspapers um, and use that. You can use that for paper mache. You can use that for, um, you know, just any, any sort of projects you want for like laying down so that when you're gluing and stuff like that, you don't destroy your tables. Um, so you need lots and lots of paper for stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can find uh, poster board or color papers too, have that in there. Um, and then you want to have um, like the other things that you might need like bowls and uh, uh, like water bottles and stuff like that. Um, different things they might need for mixing paints or whatever, whatever you're doing, trays, uh, pallets. You might need all that stuff there as well. But again, you want to like get some, you know, box or container and, and stick things in here so you could have like all of your pipe cleaners in this one here and then you can have another one that has all this stickers and stars in it okay mm. so organize your materials like that okay um it makes me nervous when you don't translate something <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh now let's talk about manipulatives okay these are things that one of the most important skills that your child needs to develop is uh, hand skills okay mm -hmm. The better they are with their hands, the smarter they'll be. Okay. 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 มันจะเป็นอะไรที่เราจะเจอเด็กมืออ่อนตลอดเลยมือไม่ค่อยแข็งแรงแอนด์วีฟาวเราจะสติลเดนท์แฮฟวิ่งเดอะวีคแคนเ
ครูที่ทํางานให้เด็กเข้าไปอีกเพราะกลัวว่าผลงานเด็กออกมาไม่มีเนี่ยเดี๋ยวจะโดนพ่อแม่ด่าบางครูบางที่เขาก็จะจับมือเด็กแล้วก็เด็กก็จะนั่งลอยๆอย่างเงี้ยค่ะแล้วเขาก็จับมือเด็กวงอย่างเงี้ยเด็กยิ่งพัฒนาพฤติกรรมที่แบบว่าโอเคต่อไปฉันจะนั่งลอยๆอ,อย่างเงี้ยทั้งวันเลยแล้วก็ให้คนจับมือฉันทําอันนี้แก้ยากมากเลยเพราะเด็กมันแบบมันเคยตัวไปทุกที่ Now, อะไรเงี้ย The key with encouraging the the hand skills is that you can't force it of course so what you do is you present it okay you show it to them show them what to do if they do it great if they don't put it away and move on to the next thing okay คราวนี้วิธีการเนี่ยเราคงจะไปบังคับให้เขาจับทําอะไรไม่ได้เราทําได้แค่พรีเซนต์ให้ดูเสนอให้อาจจะหาอะไรที่ลูกน่าจะชอบที่สุดที่อยากทําปกติเราก็จะเน้นสีเนี่ยแหละค่ะสีเพ้นน้ําเลอะๆอะไรอย่างเงี้ย so it might be things like beads and strings um, don't get the really thin strings or the very small beads but um, you can just use uh, pipe cleaners if you can find them as well and uh, thick wooden beads and they can just put those on like that that's a developed hand that really fine motor skill and hand eye coordination um, blocks are amazing if you can invest in a good set of wooden blocks Your kids will be handing it down to your grandchildren. Blocks last forever, and they are the best, best toy you can possibly buy. Yeah, yeah. ก็ก็คุ้มเพราะมันเล่นได้หลายหลากและการที่ตั้งบล็อกซ้อนกันอะไรพวกนี้มันก็ต้องใช้มือเยอะ A good set of wood worth it. They're expensive, but they are totally worth it. They will be in your family for generations. ไปอยู่ไปยันลุ่งยันหลานเลยนะเพราะว่าถ้านี่ซื้อมาตั้งแต่สมแบบสมัยเปิดโรงเรียนแรกๆอ่ะทุกวันนี้มันก็ยังอยู่เป็นสิบปีแล้วถ้ามันยังดูดีอยู่เลย Yeah. Um, and the possibilities with blocks are endless. So I recommend a, a, you just every year buy more blocks. Every year buy more blocks, and pretty soon you'll have a lot of blocks, <coughs> and your kids will use them for years. Mm. So they'll be they'll be you know 10, 11 years old, and they'll still be using those blocks <coughs> for something. <coughs> so uh, Legos are great too. Um, if your kids are very young, don't get the little ones. Get the Duplo blocks, mm. the bigger ones. Uh, so that's something that you have to, you know, be aware of the choking hazard. Um, if you want to get the small Legos for like really fine motor uh, skill thing, just make sure it's an activity that's supervised, and that would go back up on the teacher shelf. ใช่ Lego ก็ดีอาจจะซื้อไอตัวใหญ่ๆก่อนแต่ว่าถ้าอยากจะเอาเล็กๆให้มาฝึกมือฮะก็อาจจะต้องเป็นแบบใช้เฉพาะกิจกรรมเท่านั้นก็คือเราหยิบออกมาแล้วก็นั่งดูตอนเขาเล่นแล้วก็เก็บกลับเพราะไม่งั้นเดี๋ยวลูกกลืน We have a really fun activity where we cut a small slit, then you know. The wide slit, kind of like that, where uh, you know you can cut it into the top of a container, and the the kids will drop sticks into it. Find that um, like one and a half, two two year olds really like that activity. Mm. They really like <coughs> dropping <coughs> things into a slit. Well, they like to make them out of sticks. 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 Putting things into containers and taking them out to occupy the floor. Yeah. Just give them a box and uh, a bunch of blocks, and they'll just take them in, put mm -hmm. them out, take them in, put them out. They'll just, they'll just they just they have a great time, and they they love that activity. So uh, that's fun. And things like bottle caps, sticks, cans, you know, all sorts of stuff. You know, you can. Just use materials, like old milk jugs. You know, like not. You don't want to have anything that has food in it, but you can like wash out a, a plastic milk jug, and you can use that as a planter for growing a garden. You can use it for uh, cutting it and make make it for water, so you can use it for painting. So save all the materials. Cereal boxes are great for lots and lots of things. You can cereal boxes for masks. So you can have a whole craft corner with just stuff that's like pieces of cardboard and. And uh, mm, plastic that, containers, and everything. And they can just use it for whatever, whatever they feel like they want to make that day. Okay. Uh, so now let's going on to organizing and planning. Okay, we're going to talk about scheduling first. So you want your schedule to be flexible. Um, you don't want to have it too rigid, and you want to have a, a lot of downtime in your schedule. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. But she said her kids like to use only one hand. How can you make them use two hands? Uh, well, when they're writing or just all the time? Maybe all the time. Uh, what I do, okay, let's say let's say the child's using one hand, right? No, no, you're using one hand okay. like this. Okay, using one hand. Right? No, no, like just let's say, let's say we are doing a craft project. Uh -huh. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like a lot of times the kids will be like, they're like, eh, the glue was on my hand, or just like they're very like, eh, like this, right? Uh -huh. Okay, I'll just get in there, you know, and just take the other hand and just 
โอเคเราชอบอยู่อะไรก็มีจับอีกมือหนึ่งค่ะทำเลยค่ะแล้วก็บอกว่าใช้สองมือปกติถ้าเจอนักเรียนที่โรงเรียนก็จะมีอยู่แล้วค่ะมันไม่ใช่เรื่องผิดปกติเลยใช้มือเดียวเราแค่ต้องเตือนเขาว่าใช้สองมือค่ะใช้สองมือค่ะแล้วเราก็หยิบมืออีกข้างหนึ่งมาแปะไปเลย Anybody watching our phonics videos right now you'll see I'm constantly going to this and you need to put your hand on the table ใช่แล้วเกิดว่าใครแบบเรียน phonics ออนไลน์กับจอร์ดอยู่นะคะจะเห็นว่าทุกคลิปเลยพอให้นิสาทํางานปุ๊บจอร์ดจะหยิบมืออีกข้างหนึ่งมาแปะให้ใช้สองมือตลอดเลยตลอดเวลาเราต้องเตือนเขาอะค่ะ You need two hands for this ใช้สองมือใช้สองมือมือนึงช่วยจับแล้วทุกๆกิจกรรมเลยเราเราจะพยายามให้เด็กจับสองมือตลอดค่ะสมมติจะเพ้นอะไรก็ต้องมือหนึ่ง Yeah I've seen I've seen kids who are just adamant about using one hand for everything and they keep the other hand behind their back อย่างเงี้ยอย่างแซมอ่ะแพทก็สอนจับเลยนะอย่างบางทีเขากินข้าวแล้วจานเขาก็เลื่อนอ่ะแพทก็จะให้แซมจับเอามือข้างหนึ่งมาแปะจับไว้แล้วเขาก็เออเขาก็จับเองเลยนะหลังจากนั้นอ่ะเหมือนเด็กแค่ต้องบอกเขาเรื่อยๆเดี๋ยวเขาทําเอง Okay so when you're planning your schedule out you're gonna Plan your day. What are you going to do for the day, and then you're gonna you know, like visualize how that's gonna go, and then you know so you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna need water here. I'm gonna need these materials over here. I'm gonna need scissors and tape over here, and you just plan through your day so that you know how to organize your space, um, you know, and prepare it beforehand. Okay. Mm. Uh, one of the worst things you can do for a child is say, hurry up, wait. Okay, like hurry up. Let's come over here to this area and then wait here. Don't do that. It's a it's a really bad idea. If your child is in their work area and you want to prepare the art area, say, okay, I want you over here. I want you to finish coloring in your workbook, and I'm going to go prepare the art area for you. Mm -hmm. And then you prepare everything like you're going to make uh, play-doh or something, or you're going to do something with uh, you know plastic clay, whatever that kind of clay is, whatever. Mm -hmm. You're going to you know uh, set that up, and then when you're ready. Then you go get your child and bring him to that area, and the area is ready. Don't mm. bring them to the art area and then say, "Okay, you sit here, sit still for a few minutes while I wander around and get everything." Yeah, when you're going to do something with the child, you prepare the area for him. Then you bring your child to the art area. You don't bring your child to the art area. You don't bring your child to the art area. You don't bring your child to the art area. ความสนใจที่เขาจะเรียนอ่ะมันหายไปกับการนั่งรอเปล่าๆพี่ๆแล้วเด็กเขารอไม่ได้จริงๆนะคะอย่างสมมติว่าถ้าเราเรียนออนไลน์อย่างเงี้ยเราก็จะบอกลูกค้าเลยว่าให้ต่อกันให้ติดก่อนนะคะค่อยเรียกลูกมานั่งจะให้ลูกมานั่งแล้วรอแบบตื๊ดตื๊ดตื๊ดตื๊ดตื๊ดต่อยเงี้ยไม่ได้เด็กเสียสมาธิไปแล้ว Next we're going to talk about flow What I mean by flow is how does uh, your child move around the room Okay Are there things in the way Is this is this piece of furniture blocking my path Okay Um, so you want to make sure that your space is has a nice even flow to it, where the kids can move around. They can go over here, they can go over there, and they can they can move around without anything getting in their way. Hmm. Flow ก็คือเหมือนแบบว่ามันมีอะไรขัดขวางการเดินการหยิบการจับไหมดูว่ามันไหลลื่นไหมนะคะ Now this can be quite challenging if you live in a condo and you don't have a lot of space. Hmm. โดยเฉพาะถ้าเราอยู่คอนโดและพื้นที่เราไม่มาก But you know, you just have to try to manage the space that you have and look at it and try and find creative ways to make sure that your child can get to the things they need without too much assistance from you. ใช่พยายามทำยังไงก็ได้ให้ลูกสามารถหยิบของอะไรมาทำเองได้ง่ายที่สุดเพราะเราอยากให้เขาไปหยิบมาไงอ่ะ there there are like some question you want to just keep talking about what you want to talk or you want to answer the question. Okay, answer the question. What is it? They said, uh, if I tell my kid to use two hands and they get angry and don't want to do it anymore, what should she do? And don't do it anymore. You know, just, just, okay, all right, let's clean up and we'll go do and something else. Should she keep telling them to use two hands then? Don't, don't fight with your kid, mm. okay? It doesn't, it's not productive to have an argument over using one hand or two hands. Mm. If you want them to use two hands for this activity and they don't, Then stop. Go do something else. Come back to it. Okay. ถ้าจะกรรมนี้เป็นอะไรที่ต้องทำสองมือแล้วถ้าเขาไม่อยากทำก็โอเคงั้นหยุดก่อนแล้วค่อยกลับมาใหม่ The other one is. All right, we're gonna take a break. Okay, come back when you have better attitude. The other one is just about English. If they want the kid to speak English, should they like teaching vocabulary extra? What do you mean? If she want to teach five years old to speak English, should she teach vocabulary? No, 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 no. It's a big mistake. Okay, now, um, vocabulary and grammar and stuff like that. Thai education gets it all wrong. I'm sorry. I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna. Okay, we're. Let's talk. 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 Let's tal
ังผับเลยนะคะทุกคนคะเขาจะพูดเรื่องนั้นเรื่องนี้จะบังผับเลยนะคะ I'm start ranting right now okay we're gonna I'm gonna get back up on my soapbox we had that last time we start ranting about screen time you're gonna get me start rant about uh, grammar and vocabulary It's, Thai education gets it all wrong they do it entirely the wrong way it is Okay. Uh, no, no. Okay, hang on, hang on. I can prove it to you because go look up uh, the like performance of Thai students compared to Malaysian kids, Vietnamese kids, Singaporean kids, everybody else in Southeast Asia. Compare their test scores and how they're doing and everything like that, and how much they retain of the English that they learn. Mm. And then look at how much time and effort and money that Thai people spend on English education, and you don't get a result. So I'm gonna get really. 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 Yeah. Why? Why are there? Why is Thailand importing teachers from uh, the Philippines and Myanmar to teach Thai students? Because you know the Thai education just doesn't produce English speakers. It just doesn't. You know. Oh, ไม่งั้นน่ะก็ต้องมีครูไทยที่แบบพูดภาษาอังกฤษได้ถูกไหมแต่ตอนนี้คือเราต้อง import. How can the Philippines do it and we can't? You know. เออเออเฮ้ยเธอพูดถูกพอยนะก็คือว่าทำไมแบบทำไมคนฟิลิปปินส์ถึงสอนภาษาอังกฤษลูกเราได้อ่ะแต่ว่าเราไม่มีครูไทยที่พูดภาษาอังกฤษเก่งพอที่จะสอนลูกเราได้อ่ะเออมันเป็นไปได้ไงใช่ไหมเพราะฉะนั้นแสดงว่าวิธีการเรียนที่มันผ่านผ่านมามันไม่ถูกแล้วแต่แต่ you know what you know what topic for next time okay topic we're gonna go on this and I will talk all day about this okay I'm endlessly frustrated by this อันเนี้ยพูดพูดได้แบบว่าเป็นสองชั่วโมงเลยนะวิ่งหน้า okay anybody if you know anybody who's like in the Ministry of Education have them come sit and talk to me for half an hour and I will revamp the entire Thai education system okay because I am done with it okay that's one of the reasons why I don't teach in schools anymore is just because I can't put up with it um, but yeah it's it's just vocabulary 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 grammar 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 you know in, in America we don't learn grammar until eighth grade ใช่ในอเมริกาค่ะเขาไม่ได้เรียนแกรมมาจนอายุแบบเกรดแปดนั่นก็คือมสองมสามนะคะแต่เขาเน้นใช้ใช้ใช้ใช้แต่เขาใช้จริงๆคือเด็กพีสคูเขาอะค่ะก็เขียนประโยคแล้วค่ะแต่ว่าเขียนผิดผิดถูกถูกจากเสียงที่เขาสิ่งที่เขาสะกดอะก็คือใช้โฟนิกสะกดคำไปเลยอะไรเงี้ยค่ะแล้วเขาไม่เน้นผิดถูก and I see it all the time with my students when they come in for my writing classes okay and they come in and I ask them okay um, like a question or something like that and I can see them they're thinking of the vocabulary where they want to say mm. and what they do is they're like they're like going back through all the vocabulary tests they've ever took and they're like trying to find okay it was on that vocabulary test and I got to go down to answer number seven and it was there that is not the way to remember something if you want to have a conversation ใช่ใช่คราวนี้เราเจอเด็กบ่อยมากที่เวลาเราคุยเราถามคำถามเขาไปอ่ะแล้วเขาจะตันไปเหมือนคำศัพท์อยู่ในหัวอย่างเงี้ยซึ่งซึ่งคงจะไปคิดว่าเฮ้ยตอนนั้นฉันท่องคำว่าอะไรฉันไม่รู้ยังไงแล้วก็ถึงจะออกมาหนึ่งคำอ่ะซึ่งมันไม่ใช่วิธีที่เราคุยกันในในระแบบธรรมชาติเนี่ยคือการคุยกันมันต้องโต้ต่อเธอพูดฉันพูดเธอพูดฉันพูดแต่ฉันจะพูดผิดพูดถูกพูดอ้อมหรือโชว์อะไรเงี้ย We got more people coming in I think people like to hear me rant okay นี่ไงเดินเดินเดินเดินเดินเดินเดินเดินเดินเดินเดินเดินเดินเดินเดินเดินเดิน Let me. I give this example to people all the time. Let me. Let me tell you what I say to people all the time. Okay, I'm going to tell you a, a word in Pasa Thai, and I'm not going to tell you the word. Okay. Mm. I don't know this word. Show him. Do what? But I want you in the chat to tell me the word that I'm thinking of. Okay. Wait. I'll try to speak Pasa Thai. Yeah. That he can speak. แล้วให้คุณเดาว่ามันคือคำศัพท์ว่าอะไรโดยที่เขาไม่พูดคำนั้นเลยนะ So let's see who can get a sticker from teacher okay I want to see I want to see uh, the, in the chat I want to see somebody whoever gets the answer first gets a sticker from the teacher okay ใครตอบได้เดี๋ยวคุณครูจะให้สติ๊กเกอร์นะคะ Okay so พลไม้สีเหลืองลิงกินอะไรอะไรอะไรนี่ไม่ได้ต้องพูดคำสาบคำนั้นเลยแต่ว่าเราว่าทุกคนจะรู้ว่าคืออะไรสีเหลืองลิงกินโอเค you have to wait for a bit because it's delay okay so who can get it นักเรียนตอบเร็ว
Anyway, hey, go away. There you go. Get a sticker there, okay, Konoam. All right, Konoam gets the sticker. Yeah, banana, right? Go ahead. Yes, banana, see? So without saying the word, I was able to tell you what I was thinking about. Do you see that we don't need to know the word? So this is the method that I teach uh, my students. I don't teach them to memorize vocabulary. What I teach them is what we call proficiency, using the words that you know to describe something you don't know. รู้จักใช้คําอะไรก็ได้ที่ตัวเองรู้ว่าแต่สื่อสารออกมาให้เร็วแล้วก็พูดออกมาแล้วเดี่ยวครูจะเป็นคนบอกเองว่าคํานั
Yeah. And it breaks my heart. It's one of the reasons I just can't teach in schools anymore because it just hurts to, mm -hmm. to you know, I feel like when I'm, you know, giving seven final exams to a kindergartner and the, the kid is crying and cracking under the pressure, I feel bad about myself. Yeah, you know, I just can't do it. It's just not the right way. Okay. So, you want your kid to, to write better? Ask them to write you a story. Okay? Mm. Write a couple words. Then have them tell you the rest of the story and you fill in the details and you know, write together at first if they can't do the whole thing by themselves. Okay? Um, you know, Nissa and I produce books together all the time and we, we mm. do that. You know, she doesn't write the whole thing, but you know, we work on it together. And she draws the pictures. I may may write down some of the sentences. She might write down some of the words. We work on it together. In the end, she's got a book and she's really proud of it. Mm. I wrote a book. You know, and and all that vocabulary and everything like that, it just comes naturally. Okay. You know? So, yeah, so anyways, um, <laughs> Free time, yeah. So give your kid plenty of free time because that's actually where most of the learning is going to happen. You want to, you can have stimulating play. Like you can leave things out for them that that is like puzzles or something like that that are really stimulating. Maybe a puzzle they can work on over a period of days or something mm -hmm. like that. But then you also want to have um, downtime and quiet time. You, if your child's young, you want to have nap time included in your schedule. Mm -hmm. But then you also want to have just a time where you don't have anything scheduled. You don't make them do anything, mm -hmm. and it's a quiet time. And you have to work on that. Maybe they want to be really loud. But you say, no, we're, we're going to turn the lights off. It's just a quiet time. We're, you know, I can put a lamp over here if you want to read a book. And, you know, it's just a chill, mm -hmm. okay? Because that's the time when they're doing their processing. You've got to give the time. You need to have time for the child. Because the time is when they will process what they have learned before. So, sometimes, if the child is doing it every day, the child will not have time to give the child to check the data. Think about like with your computer or your phone when you have like 15 or 20 apps over and you're, you're trying to like click, click, click here, click, mm -hmm. click here. Just like my phone. Yeah, like she does. And she's got like, oh, she gets bored because she's got 16 windows open and she's trying to do something and the computer's like loading, loading, loading and she's like, oh, well, that's boring, so I'll go over to the next page. And, and, and then it makes the computer crash because it's just so overloaded, right? That's your child's brain. Okay? You gotta give them a chance to just process what you've been trying to teach them that day and go over it. And what you find is actually after that time, they'll come back with a fresh perspective on something, they'll ask more questions about it. And so maybe like you were talking, uh, you were looking at a book about dolphins, you were talking about that, and maybe you had a little project and they painted a picture of a dolphin and everything. And then you give them some quiet time and they go off and they play and they, they sit quietly, maybe they read a book or something like that and they come back to you and you're like, you know, why do dolphins come up and shoot water out of the top of their head? And they've got a question about mm -hmm. it, you know, that they, because they were thinking about it and it was there. But if you didn't give them the chance to think about it, then you would, they would never do that. They would never have that question. Mm -hmm. You would never have that chance to have that second go at it. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you can also, that's a time when they can think about something, they ask questions, and then you can correct any errors or misconceptions they have in their, right. in their thinking. Okay. Now the last the last part here, uh, Pat didn't print out the last sheet. So we got we got it here on here. Hold it up here. Can you see that? Okay. So we're going to talk about implementing our plans and implementing our space. And what I really wanted to show you here is this space. Okay. You, can you guys see how messy that is and and dirty that is? That is a homeschool space. Okay. So. <laughs> Um, when you go online and you look for homeschooling ideas for your kid, you're going to see all these beautiful rooms. They look like they're right at, straight out of an Ikea catalog and they're just gorgeous and everything's like all organized and neat, you know, like our room back here. And, uh, but we aren't showing you the rest of the room, <laughs> trust me, there's like piles of stuff everywhere. Okay. But, uh, you know, it, it looks too perfect and you're going to get discouraged and be like, oh my God, I can't make my house look like that. Um, so when I look at a space like, like this, okay, I love this space, okay, this is great, okay, it's messy, messy is good, make the space messy, okay, um, so, you know, 
I know you guys probably took pictures because you didn't want to like sh show off an embarrassing room to get everything. I mean, that one that like that. Don't but, don't. but I really, I, I would prefer to see a messy room. Okay, mm -hmm. um, you know, have the, the easel out and have stuff written on it. Okay, um, because you want the room to be well loved by the end of the day, and then you're gonna go and clean it up. Okay, mm -hmm. but um, you know, put everything back where it belongs. But it should look like a tornado hit that room. <laughs> okay, and just lots of activity, lots of fun, you know, just have a good time in it. Okay? If it's too sterile, you know, like again, I, I want I want to see I want to see pictures on the wall, you know, stuff like that. I want to make it colorful, brighten it up a bit, get some toys out there. You know what you can do in the morning, you can set some toys out here for them. You, we call it presentation where mm. you set something out here and then it kind of entices them to play with that toy. Okay, ให้อยู่ที่โรงเรียนนะคะเราจะไม่เก็บของเรียบแป้แบบนี้นะคะเราจะมีแบบของเล่นบางอย่างอาจจะ 3 put out a train set and like set up a couple of pieces but not the whole thing. ไม่ใช่แบบเซตทั้งหมดคือเอาออกมานิดๆหน่อยๆให้เด็กแบบอ๋ออันนี้เล่นได้แน่เลยแล้วก็เล่นอะไรอย่างเงี้ย they might ignore it and go over here and play with the kitchen set because that's what they want to do. Great. Mm. But, you know, I'm going to present something to them. And maybe, I, you know, the next day I'll present it again. They ignore it again. Go over here and play with this. But then the third day they'll come and play with it. Okay. okay. Uh, so presentation is an important uh, part of this. You're going to set things up, present an area to them. So take a step back from your room and look at it. If everything's put away, Okay, if everything's put away, then what are you presenting to this room? Mm -hmm. This area is, you know, clean and sterile and neat and you can't touch anything mm -hmm. in here. Okay, that's what you're presenting. Instead, bring stuff out. Show them a couple of toys you want them to play with. Sh lay a couple of books out in a basket for them, okay? Mm -hmm. Present things to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, they may not use it, but you at least you're showing it to them and giving them the opportunity and letting them know it's ทุกๆเรื่องแหละเราต้องเสนอเราต้องโชว์เราต้องให้เค้าดูบ้างอะไรอย่างเงี้ยเหมือนบางคนจะแบบว่าโอ้ยฉันไม่วิชาการนะก
that's a shape lesson. They're cleaning up their blocks, but they're also learning about their shapes. Okay. Or let's say we've got they've been playing with the puff balls, and there's puff balls scattered all over the room, right? The little, little puff balls, right? And they're scattered everywhere, and they've got the cups and everything like that. And they're all, and I might say, okay, I want you to. I've got the box, right? That's gonna go in. I'll say, all right, everybody, collect all the red ones. Go. Okay. Okay. Who can get all the red ones? Go. 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 And just, oh, that one's green. Put that back. Right. And then they, you know, they give you all the red ones. Throw in the. You can make it fun. Okay. Don't make it like. No, we're gonna clean up. Ugh. You know, instead, you know, make a game out of it. You know, sing a song. Clean up. Clean up. Everybody, clean up like this. You can just make it fun. Make it. You know. But there's plenty of learning to be done during cleanup time. So don't skip that. And definitely. definitely